How's everyone doing today? This is Daddy T again, and as usual, subscribe so that you can get the real deal of the information. Let's jump into it. Today we're going to go over the PASMO card. Yeah, that's right, PASMO. No Z in it. A lot of people like to call it PASMO, and so it confuses some Japanese when said like that. So try to pronounce it PASMO with a soft S when you can. That's lesson one. Okay, so a little background on this card real quick. Essentially, it's a prepaid transit card that you can use on just about any train line in Japan. However, you can only buy them at KQ Line stations. The KQ Line is actually one of my favorite train lines. Why? Well, firstly, because it starts all the way down here at the tip of the Miura Peninsula in Yokosuka. And then from there, you can go all the way to Tokyo on it. Now, I don't just mean Shinagawa, no, you can get off at Ginza or Higashi Ginza and Tokyo Skytree, Haneda Airport, and even Narita Airport without even getting off, if timed right. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, how do you go about getting one? There are kiosks at every, and I mean every KQ station. Now, this station that I'm at is Horonochi Station. It's just one stop away from Yokosuka Chuo on the express train. Now when you approach the kiosk, it will initially be in Japanese. There's a language button at the top right of the screen that will convert the kiosk into English, Chinese, or Korean. Choose your appropriate language. But no, the lesson doesn't stop there. Now if you don't have a PASMO card on you, and you would like to make one, then you would select the PASMO button. Then you would have a couple of options. You could purchase a regular card or you can select the name card option to put your name on a card. This is valuable in case you lose it or if you're in a family where everyone rides the train regularly and you want to keep track of your individual card. Now naming it is free but creating it is not. You have to pay 500 yen to create a card. On top of that, you can load it up with however much yen you want. Will it be 10,000 yen, 20,000 yen, 30,000 yen? Whatever you do, put on a card. Remember, your balance will be minus 500 yen for creating a card. Next, I'm going to show you how to purchase a commuter pass. For this example, I'm at Yokosuka Chuo Station. I'm going to purchase a commuter pass from Yokosuka Chuo Station to Yokohama KQ Station with a start date of today. Again, I'll enter in my name, gender, date of birth, and phone number. You don't have to put in your real phone number, but in the off chance that you do lose it, if someone turns it into the proper authorities, they can look it up and call you, contact you, and tell you where to pick up your card. And these cards can get quite expensive depending on how much money you put on them. So with that in mind, it'd be a good idea to put your phone number on there. You're
Next, notice that you can choose different lines at Yokohama to exit out of. Yokohama is a fairly large station with multiple lines in it, not just Keiku Line. So choose the appropriate line here and go out the transfer gate at that station. Also, I have a video about the underground shopping mall there, so check that out at the link above. Then choose the validity period for that card. You can choose one month, three months, or six months. It really all depends on your situation. If this is just for casual leisure travel, then maybe one month is just okay. However, if you're depending on the train to get to work and make a living, then yeah, three or six months might be more appropriate for you. Again, it all depends on your situation. Remember, I said I was going to make it take effect today, so I'm going to select today's date. Something else I want you to take note of is the commuter pass sign. You can purchase a PASMO at any kiosk, but you can only purchase a PASMO commuter pass at compatible kiosks. Now let's say you purchase a commuter pass to get off as far as Yokohama. If you get off any further than that, within that validity period of that card, you will have to put your card into the adjustment fare machine located in close proximity to every turnstile at any station. Lastly, the PASMO card can be used in a variety of different ways. It can be used to get drinks out of the drink machine, or hanbaiki as it's called in Japanese, and it will deduct the cost of the drink from your balance. You can also use it at most convenience stores, especially ones in close proximity to the KQ line. Just sit your card in a slot and bam, they also take it at some food ordering services. Shout out to my buddy Al Capone 99 check out his channel for helping me make the vid.